guys welcome to civil engineering youtube channel here in this video i will show you how to estimate a slab okay so let's start our video uh, estimation of slab it means uh, how much uh, sand will required how much uh, cement will required how much aggregate will required to construct this slab okay so i have uh, drawn recently a building okay so i have a slab for example uh, this is our slab and its uh, width is this and uh, length is this much okay and we have to calculate total uh, uh, re uh, materials required like cement sand aggregate steel etc okay so let's start here first of all i would like to tell uh, i would like to take the dimension uh, okay so width width of slab is how much here uh, 25 feet 6 inch okay and uh, let us take the length okay so length of slab is about here length is almost 53 feet okay so we have 53 feet length and 25.6 it means 25.5 feet width okay now let us uh, calculate the estimation of this uh, slab okay so for that i have taken the help of this website this is uh, civilconcept.com www.civilconcept.com i will put the link in the description okay so uh, we ha you have to click on this website and uh, go in the estimation and after going in estimation uh, click on the member estimator and here slab estimator okay so click on this slab estimator after that you will see the interference uh, like this okay so here we got the slab estimator tool okay this is the calculator uh, now you have to enter the detail of the slab okay so uh, length of uh, uh, length of slab was how much uh, length of slab was uh, length was 53 feet okay so uh, put here 53 feet so in uh, click here feet and width was how much uh, uh, 25 feet 6 inch it means 25.5 feet okay 25 25.5 feet okay so here click on feet after that input thickness okay so you have to put the thickness in inch or mm etc okay so a height uh, i am putting here for example normal it uh, varies from uh, 5 feet to 6 inch so i am putting here uh, 6 inch uh, 6 inch okay so 6 inch after the diameter diameter of the river in a direction for example this is our a direction and this is bb direction okay so uh, diameter of river i am putting here 10 and uh, uh, spacing between this river this river spacing how much is the spacing between this river so normally i am taking here 250 mm and, and in bb direction uh, diameter river in bb direction is 10 mm and after that input the spacing of the river i am also putting here 20 250 mm okay now it is telling us number of river mesh river mesh uh, we have provided for example one or two okay so guys uh, let us uh, tell describe something for example this is our slab okay so this is our slab and uh, uh, we have laid a river in this direction like this okay so this is our river this is our river okay so this river is our single mesh okay and if we provide again these types of mesh these types of river above this river okay again above this river then this will be tell us our double mesh river okay so this is our what double mesh river in a slab okay now if we cut the section uh, from between this slab then uh, we will see these types of section okay so this will be our slab thickness and one uh, in single mesh we put river in uh, bottom of this slab okay and if you have to provide the double mesh then you have to provide on the top also okay so this will be our double mesh uh, net double mesh uh, river and uh, if you provide only this then there will be our single mesh river okay so let us uh, go through our website okay so our uh, river is single mesh okay or double mesh i am putting here double mesh okay so according to design there is uh, double mesh river okay and uh, cement sand require uh, aggregate is one 
uh, is to 1.5 okay 1.5 because uh, we have what we have 20 grade of concrete and uh, killer cover of the slab killer cover means what killer, killer cover means this this is our killer cover the spacing between this concrete surface and the rebar is known as killer cover okay so normally we put how much 20 to 30 okay for a slab i am putting at uh, 20 for example 20 okay sorry uh, 20 20 mm about volume of tripper or tractor in your area uh, how much is your uh, volume of the tractor okay so in my area it is 2.5 uh, somewhere it is 3 meter cube okay uh, and if you bringing this uh, materials with the help of tipper then there will be uh, maybe there may be 8 meter cube or there may be 5 meter cube okay so just calculate here and you will get guys all the detail of the materials here weight volume of concrete 19 meter cube dry volume of concrete 29 meter cube okay so uh, number of rebar in a direction this much number of direction cutting length will be single rebar will be 52 okay number of rebar in a direction this a direction 1 2 3 4 like this you will need 20 uh, how much uh, number of 129 rebar okay 129 let us say 130 rebar okay number of rebar in bb direction 62 rebar okay and cutting length is this much single cutting length volume of sand required will this much 8 and volume of aggregate 16 weight of cement required will 7715 it means number of bag required it means 154.3 number of bags okay and total weight of rebar required will be 1580 kg okay so uh, and number of tipper or tractor required 1.6 uh, tips sand and 3.2 tips aggregate to construct this types of slab okay so guys in this way we can estimate a slab with the help of this website very uh, i myself use this website okay very uh, accurate data it will it give us because it has used the standard of like 54 percent extra motor okay uh, uh, and uh, density of cement taken this much density of steel rod taken this much one meter uh, bags of cement one bag cement taken 50 kg so guys in this way we can estimate a slab okay so Please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering. Thank you.